Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, introducing Skyview SE for VFR aircraft. Hello. Today's video is both a new product introduction and what I hope you'll find to be one of the shortest Skyview training videos I've ever brought to you. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new Skyview SE, a streamlined version of the same Skyview system that many of you already know. At Dynon, our focus has always been providing the most modern and capable electronic flight instruments, engine instruments, and autopilot systems available for small GA aircraft. And we've been very successful at that with Skyview. But we also recognize that uh, we've seen the complexity and features and capabilities of modern EFA systems continue to grow. Uh, that works to the advantage of the IFR pilot who needs all of that complexity. But frankly, VFR pilots often find that complexity overwhelming. Uh, simply too much to look at, too many things to manage in the cockpit. So Skyview SE represents Dynon's effort to offer an extremely intuitive and simple to use EFA system for VFR pilots. We've achieved that by removing, again, a lot of the features and capabilities that are mostly relevant just to IFR pilots. We've also removed the VFR GPS mapping and navigation capability We've done that because we believe many pilots still flying on analog instruments, for example, have already added some kind of VFR GPS navigator to the cockpit, often in the form of a handheld GPS device, sometimes even on a tablet or cell phone. So Skyview SE allows you to add EFIS capabilities to your airplane without purchasing advanced features that you may already own or may simply not need in your Skyview system. Now, Skyview SE also supports Dynon's MODES transponder and 2020 compliant high integrity GPS receiver. So a Skyview SE system still represents your most affordable path to ADS-B 2020 compliance for your aircraft while adding a very capable VFR EFA system. Skyview SE also uh, uses the same autopilot servos that Skyview system uses and it incorporates the simplified VFR autopilot controls. So that's a quick summary of the SE system. Now let me switch into that very short training video I promised. I'm gonna quickly run you through the, the Skyview SE menu. Some of these buttons might look a little familiar to you if you've seen a full Skyview system, but trust me, it's a very simple menu and uh, I want to point out that all of these buttons, except for the transponder button, are direct functions, turning primarily turning features on and off. The only sub-menu in the Skyview SC system is the transponder menu itself. And I'm going to start by pressing that. Button 5 labeled XPNDR takes me to the control menu for this transponder. Here's where I had set the transmit mode for the transponder. And the second sub-menu allows me to enter a discrete transponder code. And then back takes me to the main menu. So here we are again at the main menu for Skyview SE. The rest of these buttons are just one press to do whatever you see there on the label. And quickly running left to right, button one labeled six pack allows me to switch from the EFIS tape style flight instruments to your uh, venerable analog or steam gauge flight instruments. Uh, some of you transitioning to EFIS systems may find it uh, easier to make the transition when you fly for a time with the analog flight instruments. One button turns, turns us back to the EFIS tape instruments. Button two is the single uh, engine related function and that is the fuel computer. When we press button two it gives us the dialog for telling the fuel computer how many gallons we have on board. Go back to the main menu here. Now buttons three and four are the autopilot controls in Skyview SC. We've once again, simplify the autopilot to give you the two functions VFR pilots need. Button three is the track plus altitude hold mode. If I were to turn the autopilot on now, it would follow the blue bug on the direction gyro and just follow a GPS ground track designated by that bug. 
On the knobs, we still have the heading and altitude button controls. Button 4 allows the autopilot to follow a course needle. On my HSI here in Skyview SC, you see I do have a magenta needle. Skyview SC supports a single external navigation source, a GPS source only. It doesn't support nav radios because, again, that's primarily used by IFR pilots. But if you already own a VFR GPS navigator that outputs in standard NMEA format as a serial output, you could connect that source to Skyview SC and then you would have a navigation needle just like we have here and button 4 for the autopilot would follow that needle and again maintain your altitude. Button 5 we talked about is the transponder control. Button 6 is a one button control for turning on G meter on and off. If I do that now you can see that the G meter overlays the directional gyro as long as I have it turned on. When I press that button again the G meter goes away. And finally, button 7, layout. We simplified the, the, your options for screen layouts in Skyview SC. Because you have no mapping display, uh, your only choices are flight instruments and engine. And we've reduced the number of possible screen layouts over what you might see in a Skyview system. So you'll see the button 7 takes me through four separate screen layouts. Currently, we're looking at 80% flight instruments and 20% engine. The next button press takes us to 50-50 layout. Pressing the button again takes us to 100% engine instruments, and one more press takes us to 100% flight instruments. And then again, takes me back to my original 80%, 20% layout. So through experimentation, you'll find that you're never more than three button presses away from the screen layout you want in Skyview SC. So there you have it. That's my world record short training video on the new Skyview SC. I appreciate you joining me, and if you want to learn more about the new Skyview SC, please give us a call. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.